Hi students, this is Leslie um, and this tutorial is going to go through sort of the steps to um, transform our plan that was given to us as a PDF into something that we can start 3D modeling. Um, the PDF is not like a vector line so when you transfer when you saved your um, posters from a vector to a PDF, it became pixelated. So there isn't actually algorithmic geometry within that file. So what we're going to do is trace um, the plan again so we can start to use that in, um, in Rhino. And similarly, I worked on one of the front elevations, so that's another thing that also needs to be traced. So the first thing I'm going to do is the plan. Um, it's very basic and you can use the information that's already up on um, our Blackboard under the sort of winter set proposal tab. Um, I'm going to just place it. I think the interior diagram is the most um, complete, so we'll use that, and the property diagram is more that sketch that the librarian um, did for us to sort of document the outside dimensions. So you can pretty much make these any size you want, but again, this is like a PDF. Um, so it's not going to give you the lines that you need. So the best way to do that is to trace. Um, and it's really pretty basic. Um, one of the first things I'm, you can technically do this in other softwares, but since you know Illustrator, I'm just going to show you how to do it here. And then we can um, immediately use these in future drawings because it's already in Illustrator and ready to go. So this is pretty common um, way to work when you don't have the CAD drawings already for you. You just go about tracing and um, guessing. So the first step is simply to trace. And the best thing to do is to make sure, since this is a rectilinear building, is to make sure this edge is straight. and you know, by looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's a little off, but you can turn on your rulers with Apple or Control R, and you would be able to use guides. So all you do is click on this top ruler area, and you can also do it on the side, and click and hold and drag down these little guide marquees. And so you can see it's like lined up right there, but it's a little off right there. So I'm going to zoom in. And rotate this a little bit. It's not an exact art, but we want it to be as straight as possible because then it just makes our lives easier. trying to snap to stuff so there's other ways to rotate that might make this easier um, using this tool which is rotate rather than transform you can have your center All right, that looks pretty good. So that was step number one. Step number two is tracing. Um, I'm going to do um, 
a couple layers. You can do whichever you prefer, but essentially we need this outline, right? This is our plan and this is what the outside of the building is going to be. And it doesn't have to be all these little um, black areas and all the doors. Um, that's why I'm doing an exact demonstration of what you guys have to do. So essentially I'm just going to trace the general outline of this building and then export it into, um, into Rhino and then we'll open it and extrude that three-dimensionally. Okay? So, um, and that will be in a two-part segment just because I only have the softwares on one side of my computer. So first thing we're going to do is use, um, I'm just going to use the pen tool. You can use any of the tools that you just learned, but holding shift So actually I'm going to go back. So one of the things I want to do is capture this little um, entryway. So I'm just going to do it again really quickly. So I'm going to just try and be mindful about this entrance. Um, again, if you look at, I'm going to just stop this line here and show you guys the Photoshop. So I finally was managed to piece together a sort of decent elevation. So you see here, um, it's kind of deceiving and I'm not expecting you guys to understand plans and sections perfectly, but plans are technically cuts at four inches above the ground. So plans don't indicate things like this. So whereas on the plan, I could have traced this out like this. Um, it, it, it technically, you it extends above in elevation, above the doorway. So it's just important to be mindful of how you're interpreting the information that's being given you. Um, I'm going to trace this door outlay and then model this separately when we get to Rhino. So. So now I have a line. I'm just going to make it black so I can see it well. And you can see how I could have modeled much more. If this was my architecture school project, I would be modeling all the lines inside, and we might do that later in the semester. Um, but for now, just to start out, all we want is one single outline. So now the only thing we need to do next is save this outline for a file format that we can open in Rhino. And Rhino is really fantastic because you can just about open anything, import and export it um, in that software. So we can save it as an, um, as an Illustrator file. You can save it as AutoCAD file, which is something that Illustrator also exports as, um, so it's very flexible. The one thing I'm going to do um, is this is not true to scale, and I'm just going to draw two ticks at a doorway, and again this is just for your understanding, um, so that I can scale it when I get to Rhino. And the logic behind that, this is again really standard practice for when you are um, 
when you are sort of given a PDF and you are required to trace it. Um, doorways are 99.9% .9 of the time three feet wide. So if you're just given something like this um, that doesn't have a scale on it and has no way to really, you know, actually scale it up in a really unified way, what you do is you just determine a door and you scale it up. And it's that simple. Um, so for now, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> delete this PDF. You can turn it off. You can have a layer. This is all I have now. And I will file, save as. Mm -hmm. Building outline. And again, the format thing I was mentioning. Um, these two would be fine. You can export it, I guess, as an, uh, an AutoCAD file for those familiar with the software. But these formats will also import into Rhino. And then save. Okay, so um, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, and watch the second one. I have to switch over to another side of my computer in order to do it. So I'm just going to do it in two parts. Okay, bye.